you know, we all get hit with art blocks sometimes, so here are a bunch of things you can draw. This video includes studies and random stuff I came up with. Number one, do a photo study. These can be very relaxing to do when you feel low on creativity and just focus on improving your observational skills and replicate a photo as close to the original as you can. Second, landscapes. There's many different landscapes you could go for, like desert, beaches, forests, mountains, anything really. Number three is a study. You could do color studies. If you don't know what kind of study you want to do or how to do it, I recommend you to just search for a tutorial and I'm sure you're gonna find something. Number four is figure drawings. Figure drawings or gesture drawings are important to do every now and again. Number five, animals. They are cute and fun to draw. Number six is clothing. Learn how to draw different styles and clothing. You can go and study clothing from a fashion runway or traditional clothing from different countries, whatever you're interested in. When we're on the topic of clothing already, number seven is fabric studies. Um, learn how to understand fabric and how it folds and stretches. Number eight is tarot cards. Tarot cards have a lot of symbolism and interesting composition and poses, so they give you a lot to work with and to learn from. Number nine is a perspective study. Practicing perspective is important and will help you to visualize your drawings in a 3D setting. Pick a grid and practice drawing in it. Once again, as with the color study, if you don't know how to make these studies, just search it up. Start with something simple. Number 10 is buildings. You could just go outside and draw buildings in real life or search up some references that you like. Number 11 is expressions. This helps with getting rid of the stiffness of the expressions in your art and same face syndrome. Don't worry if your practice drawings kind of look a bit um, like they belong in a mental asylum. <laughs> it's kind of part of practicing expressions. Number 12 is lighting. Experiment with various lighting scenarios to understand how it affects the mood and atmosphere of the artwork. Number 13 is a draw this in your style challenge. These challenges give you a base to work with and help you support other artists at the same time. So it's a win-win. Number 14 is a dot drawing. You need to be patient, but the results look great and it's honestly fun to do your shading like this. Haven't done it in forever, but they are fun. Number 15 is trees. Search for a few different sorts of trees and practice drawing them. Number 16 is weapons. Try to draw a few different types of weapons, from fantasy swords to guns and crossbows. You could even do some sci-fi uh, weaponry. Number 17 is character sheets. Make a character sheet for your OCs or just practice making one of these to help you with consistency in your designs. Number 18 is the most fun one when you have art block because it's random shapes, 100% drawing and 0% brain. These are the most fun to let your hand do random shapes and Maybe draw something when you recognize something in the pattern, but otherwise just go ham. Do something. It doesn't have to be a perfect drawing all the time. Number 19 is the lives. Mostly done with fruits, but any object will do. Set it up and analyze the lighting and shadows and colors, but you can also do this in black and white. Number 20 is water. Practice drawing water. It could be waves or still water in a lake. If you are having a hard time understanding how water works, maybe search up some artists who specialize in it and watch their progress. Number 21 is plants. There's so many different plants and flowers with all kinds of shapes and colors, like cacti, moss, orchids, tulips, forget-me-nots. The list is honestly endless. Number 22 is shadow study. Practice shadow placements. If you place the shadow wrong, people might not be able to point out what exactly it is that's wrong about the drawing, but they will be able to recognize something is off. Number 23 is a texture study. 
Explore various textures from rough surfaces to smooth gradients and practice rendering these textures realistically. Next we have composition. Learn how to lead people's eyes with composition and practice arranging your figures and points of focus with it in mind. Composition is also very fun. Just take some of the composition guides and then try to model your artwork off it. Number 25. Fish. Any kind of fish, deep sea creatures, Nemo, it doesn't really matter. They are cute and they are fun to draw. They're also pretty simple, so if you have art block, this might be a fun little thing to do. Number 26 is shoes. Boots, sandals, sneakers, high heels, different angles and different positions. We need to know how to draw shoes and it's sometimes it can be fun. For most of the time, shoes were frustrating to me, so it's a good thing to practice. Number 27 is planets. We've got so many beautiful planets and new pictures of them, so I thought why not just draw them. Number 28, the fluffy things in the sky. Number 29, fan art, childhood characters. Just some fan art of your favorite show, or if you're feeling nostalgic, some fan art of your favorite childhood shows and stories, of course. Number 30 is birds, like with the fish. I know I already said animals, but there's so many different kinds of birds you could draw, like owls, eagles, even those tiny birds that I don't even know the names of because there are so many. And they're cute, so I'm still gonna say birds. Number 31 is do a value study to balance your usage of light and dark values. The next one I came up with and I actually never did but I thought it would be fun. Draw random places on Google Maps. Just hop on Google Maps and draw random places you would drop yourself to. This sounds fun. Like I never did it but honestly it sounds a lot of fun. Draw your own house. I don't only mean to draw your house from outside, maybe draw your room and your living room, anything that you would like to have drawn once. Next I got draw your childhood photos. This can be very nostalgic and some of these photos that you have of yourself as a kid um, may not be the best quality or you just want to like this could also be a very great gift idea for anybody. Number 35 is draw months and seasons as people. Make characters based of how you think the months, seasons, maybe even weekdays would look like as people. Food. Yummy. It's food, you know. It, it's delicious. And maybe people on Instagram will comment that they would like to eat the food that you drew. Number 37 is fairies. I don't know, I randomly draw fairies when I don't know what to draw, so it's on the list. Number 38 is actually a series I did. Uh, it's drawing zodiac signs. Illustrate each sign and add the symbols and characteristics. Number 39 is a cityscape. I don't really do these that much, but you could even come up with some sci-fi or fantasy city. Um, it doesn't have to be a realistic one and maybe it's fun for you, I don't know. The next one is monsters. Come up with some creatures and maybe draw something scary. Number 41 is try out new brushes or materials. This is honestly just fun because you can play around with them and maybe during that time your art block will loosen and you can draw like a normal person after that again without wanting to hack your hands off. Memes. Drawing memes is just funny. Number 43. Songs. Draw something inspired by any of your favorite songs. When I listen to songs, my head goes full creative mode and just generates a music video in my head. So even though I can't animate, I could draw like something inspired by a song. Number 44 is fairy tales. Classics, you can make your own drawings inspired by them or even some fairy tales that are from your culture that not a lot of people outside know about. Number 45 is cars. Now I know not everybody of you might like to draw cars but there's so many models to choose from and maybe you do have a dream car then just draw it. Number 46 is doodle your daily life. This is actually uh, Ed Miart's idea. And this is a great idea to just draw even the most mundane things that go on in your life. Number 47. Follow a Bob Ross tutorial. <laughs> We love Bob. He'll probably make you feel better about drawing in general. 
Number 48 is redraw an old drawing. Take an old artwork and reimagine it in your current skills and style. This is always fun to compare how far you've come. The next thing I have for you, dreams. If you still remember what you dreamt, maybe just draw your dream. You need to remember what you dreamt to draw it. So maybe if you're a person who doesn't remember, you could also draw what you are dreaming to be one day. Okay, the last thing I have for you as an idea on what to draw is a map. Make a fantasy map. You can throw rice on your paper and then like shape the outlines of it to get the continents down or you can just draw random shapes and after that decide where cities are gonna go, where the mountains are or where the forests are and you can draw them in. What's really important to get out of Artblock is to have a project. They keep you moving and they give you a general idea of what you're gonna draw next. Anyways, thank you for watching. I hope you found something to draw. I know that if you are having art block, all of these things just sounded terrible because if you have a real bad art block, just picking up the pencil and trying to draw anything doesn't work because your brain suddenly doesn't connect with your hand. Sometimes getting back to it actually just throws the art block out of the window. So try it and if it really doesn't work then maybe give yourself a day off or two. Me and my friend Mi made an artist support server on Discord. Check it out if you want. It's a small community to share your art and it's got fun stuff like an art prompt generator and you can ask for advice on anything relating to art there. I post speed paints on Mondays and random art videos on Thursdays. Sometimes I still miss the Thursday videos, but I'm trying to be consistent and post every week. Bye!